I just want you to worship today yes, with Jesus. all that's in you. Just worship the Lord today. Yes, yes, just worship the King of Kings. Hallelujah. We worship you and tonight we worship you. Lord of Lords, we give you all that glory, God. Father, we worship you today, Lord. Father, we give you all the glory.
standing we're going to praise God we are going to pray to him we are going to seek his face this is the night of answer you have come to his presence your coming here tonight is not by accident your coming here tonight is to receive from God prepare your heart as we pray tonight praise the name of the living God so before we do that I will quickly take my reading from the book of Genesis 26 verse 12 to 13 he said, Isaac planted crops in the land and in the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him and the man became rich and, and his sweat continued to grow until he became very wealthy. That is a man that God blessed. So this is the year of manifesting God's blessings. And you have come to receive the blessing of the Lord. This whole week, this whole year, you will receive the blessing. So we are going to pray tonight. We're going to ask God, Oh Lord, anoint my hands and equip me to carry my blessing this year, 2023. 
That will be your prayer tonight. Oh Lord, anoint my hands and equip me to carry my blessing in this 2023. So you are going to open your mouth as we pray tonight. Say with me, oh Lord, oh Lord, as I begin to pray tonight in this night of answer, Father, anoint my hands, anoint my hands and equip me to carry my blessing in this 2023. Open your mouth as you begin to pray tonight. Ask God to anoint your hands. Ask God to anoint your family. Ask God to anoint you and ask him to equip you, oh God. Ask him to equip you and to, so that you'll be able to carry your blessing in this 2023. Oh Lord, anoint my hands, oh God, and equip me to carry my blessing. Equip me to carry my blessing in this year 2023. Somebody open your mouth as you begin to declare it upon your life tonight. Father, anoint my hands, anoint my family, anoint my business, anoint Christ's word ministry, equip us to carry our blessing in this 2023 I am working with blessing I am going with blessing this year oh God anoint me, anoint my family anoint my family anoint my job, anoint my career, anoint my business anoint my hands oh Lord this year I will carry my blessing. This year, my family will carry their blessing. Akada go de bakada. Christ will carry their blessing. Ribakado balanta leko. Rakadika mango de rinaba. Oh Lord, anoint my hand. Somebody open your mouth as you begin to pray tonight. The Bible says, Isaac saw. He saw in that year that he saw. Arika bago de lika bago That year that he saw. He rip an hundred four. Father, tonight I have come to your presence. This is the night of answer. This is your present tonight. Anoint also God. Anoint our hands, oh God. Equip us to carry our blessing. Equip us to carry our blessing. This year, 2023, we are all stoppable. Nothing will stop us to carry our blessing. Nothing will stop my family. Nothing will stop Christ's war. I am in your presence. Tonight, oh God, I have come with a body. I have come with a body in my hands. Tonight, oh God, I bring that body before you. Anoint my hands. Anoint my hands. Equip me to carry my blessing. Akata kata kata, rakata bakato, ribaka zende nikada, ramaka do bahata, mari bakate ni, ragadi bago deba, rakida bagazo, maskeri baba ba, riraka bagada, rakadi bagada. It's a night of us. Anoint my hands. Equip me to carry my blood. Somebody pray for yourself tonight. Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray we are going to take one more prayer but tonight you are going to war for your life as we war for your life tonight look at what the Bible says in the book of Genesis 37 verse 18 to 20 it said and when they saw him afar off when his brother saw him afar off even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him. They conspired against him and they said to one another, Behold, this dreamer comment, come now, therefore, and let's slay him and cast him into, into the pit. And we will say to the evil beast, and we will say that the evil beast have devoured him. And we shall say, see what become of his dream you don't know the enemies and the, our father has been taught, teaching us about Joseph they were they, 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 they conspired against him to take his life 
ah, tonight you are going to pray that any conspiracy, our prayer tonight we are going to pray that any spirit, any man, any woman have conspired to waste my dream in this year 2023 in this year of the manifestation of the blessing let fire and thunder destroy him say with me oh lord oh lord as i begin to pray in this night of answer any man any woman any spirit that have conspired that have conspired to waste my dream to waste what the lord has given to me in this 2023 tonight i come against you by fire by thunder by fire by thunder open your mouth as you walk for your life any man any woman any spirit that have conspired to waste your dream to waste what the lord has deposited in your hands i come against that spirit i come against that man whoever you are by fire by thunder I cast you by fire. I cast you by thunder. Open your mouth. War for your life. War for your life. When they saw Joseph from afar off, they said to themselves, Behold, the dreamer is coming. Arika Bagodela. Karika Bagadalada. They said to themselves, The dreamer is coming. We are going to conspire. They begin to conspire against themselves. As they will waste the life of Joseph. Arika Kato. They conspire fire against Joseph to slay his life, to put him in the pit, to devour him a recaba. and they said to themselves, let's see how this dream will come true, let's see how this dream will manifest the enemy have gang up they have ganging up against you they are ganging up against your career I don't know where they are but tonight, as you open your mouth and walk for your life Akaba Godele, believe God tonight he will rescue you Believe God tonight, He will deliver you. Somebody pray tonight. Reba can take about any man, any woman, any spirit that have conspired to waste my dream, that have conspired to waste my talent, that have conspired to waste the word the Lord has given to. Tonight I come against you by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. Be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by thunder, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by. Whoever you are, whoever you are, that have conspired against me to waste my dream, to waste my dream. In this year 2023, I come against you by fire, by thunder, 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 by fire, by thunder. Whoever you are, wherever you are, wherever you come from, Rikabagada, Rikabagada, Rakado Babin, Rikado Chenena, I come against you by fire by thunder, by fire by thunder, by fire by thunder, by fire by somebody walk for your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. They will not waste your life. They will not waste your life this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. For in Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. 
Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. There is something amazing coming to your presence. My heaven. There is something amazing coming to your presence. My heaven. Oh, my heaven.
over our lives. Hallelujah. And indeed Jesus is alive. I am also standing here making a joyful shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. I wish I can just shout without a stop. Hallelujah. You may have your seats in the name of Jesus. Let me not stretch you to shout. You may not understand why I am shouting. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. I'm standing here to take testimonies and I greet everybody in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, he reigns and he rules and he is alive. I am a testimony of his message and his healing power. Hallelujah. For the past two weeks since a Tuesday, I've been down with this flu and I was sharing with mama that papa mentioned this flu on that wonderful Sunday. Little did I know that it will use me to experiment. But to God be the glory. Because in this house there is no sickness. Hallelujah. I am here shouting to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I have never been bedridden because of flu. My body on Sunday I could not even join the women to dance. I was losing strength. I was wiggling. It's like I don't know what was sucking my strength. But to God be the glory. Today is Friday. I'm standing. I'm kicking. I'm strong. I am healthy and full of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are more testimonies that you are going to watch them on the slide. Hallelujah. Jesus is real in this house. And the word to those who believe and receive the word with faith is working in their lives. Hallelujah. fellowshipping with us at the end of the month of May and she came solely to look for a job in the city of Cape Town and she's been faithfully coming to church with her aunt every Friday every Sunday she's here pouring her heart to God believing that the God of her auntie and the pastor of her auntie will pray prayers that God will answer and to God be the glory last two weeks she was offered two jobs Church celebrate Jesus Hallelujah Church celebrate Jesus Hallelujah Jesus is alive and the word is working in this house Hallelujah she had a choice of choosing the one that best suits her and she chose one and she started last week and today she is off and she said she want to give glory back to God who answer prayers. Church, celebrate Jesus.
shout it, Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Celebrate Jesus with a shout wherever you are. Praise the name of the Lord. And Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says Jesus is the same today, the same yesterday, the same today and forevermore. And if you came true for them, he will come true for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Mark chapter 9 verse 23 says all things are possible for the one who believes. Hallelujah. And your belief is not just today but you keep believing until what is prophesied becomes what is happening. You keep believing until what you are saying becomes what you are seeing. Hallelujah. Jump on your feet and say I believe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 say now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. There is a God in the house who is able to do exceedingly. Jesus is in the house and he's able to do abundantly. And Jesus is in the house and he's able to do above whatever you think, above whatever you are going through. Hallelujah. According to the power that walketh in us. So there is a power that Jesus has released upon you and I that is able to bring about the miracle hallelujah praise the name of the Lord hallelujah hey can we be on our feet tonight if you believe say to him oh Lord I believe help my own belief strengthen my own belief strengthen me oh Lord so I can overcome my own belief oh Lord my God if you did it for them I know that I am next in line I'm next in line for my miracle I'm next in line for my breakthrough I'm next in line for my own answer Jesus you are the answer for the world today and you are my answer and I believe you because what you said yesterday is what you have done yesterday and that is what you are doing now and that is what you will do tomorrow therefore I believe as your word comes true as the prophecies come true as the blessings come true let me be standing in the point where I take in the miracle I open my heart and I open my spirit I open everything around and within me and I cry thou son of David have mercy upon me thou son of David have mercy upon my family thou son of David have mercy upon my children thou son of David have mercy in my case thou son of David pass me not by child of God raise your voice and begin to work and begin to pray in the tongues of the spirit as you begin to call forth the things that are not as if they were because there are answers in the house and the same Jesus hey we serve a living God we serve a listening God and he said unto Moses I will have mercy upon whomever I choose to have mercy tell him thou son of David thou son of David look my way 
Thou son of David, Esakashina Mahade, Melia Bagayebo Shara, Eyakabasata Kayeriana, Eme Soroko Yeriaba, Eyakabasoto, Eyakachana Kachina Maha, Eme Suta Kayeboli Brabada, Eriaba Sara Kayaba, Eriaba Sakayelebo Shara, Eri Kayaba Soto. Hey, hey, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, position your mind, position your spirit, uh, that you be in line, uh, that you be at the point, uh, you be at the fed frequency, when the son of man reach out, uh, that he will reach out to you. But look at what we are going to do tonight. You don't know what to pray. Remember, some of the prayers you'll be uttering tonight, you have already been uttering it to the Lord for some of us. But the Holy Spirit is the one who knows the type of prayer you are supposed to be praying. You are asking yourself, have I prayed enough? Haven't I prayed enough? Now you are going to pray in the tongues of the Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to intercede for you. You know, the, allow the Holy Spirit to play, to pray the mind of God concerning you. Hey, Abashada. And Jesus, you know, you know, you know, you know, God was telling Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I choose. Hey, I will have mercy up, upon whomever I choose. Mercy is in the hand of God. No man can show you mercy other than God. No man can show us mercy other than God. So as you, as you make the declarations tonight, then you switch to the tongues of the Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit. As you pray in the tongues of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will begin to help. Hallelujah. Are you ready to night uh, say to him oh lord my father i stand in the fed frequency i stand in the gap uh, oh lord my father help me tonight uh, according to your word uh, my help does not come from hell from from the east uh, it does not come from the west uh, but my help cometh from you lord oh lord send me help uh, concerning my matter and oh lord my god uh, i tonight uh, that you will show me mercy that you will show me mercy show me mercy thou son of David uh, have mercy upon me look upon me with mercy look my direction uh, look my direction with answer now begin to pray uh, in the tongues of the spirit uh, wherever you find yourself uh, Go shara, ene mo sara ha, ere no soro, zandiri giya ba sata ha iya, ere ke shuka yara, ere ya ma sara ka yere bo, mori ya ba ga sara ka yara, ere no sa, ere no sha, ere no sha, ere no sha, ere no sha, ranta la ka ye bo shara, ere ya ma soro ko yere ya ba ra, ere ya ba ga sha. Sharakayana, woman thou a loser, man thou a loser. Eh, Sharabahada, rekesuta da, yenelina masada. Eh, kyebo Sharakada, eh masata na na, eriaba Shara. Walk me the lane of mercy. Walk me through the lane of mercy. Walk me through the lane of mercy. Take me through the lane of mercy. I can help myself. But you can help me. Walk me through the na 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 Oh, 
Masarakayana, Erika Bashana, Reto Soto, walk me through the lane of mercy that I encounter your massa, Esahaya, Emo Soto Korea Bada, E Yagayala Hata, E Yagayagaya, E Yagayagayana, E Yagayagana, E Yana. You are doing the same today. Ah, 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 you are doing the same today. Oh, glory to your Oh, Thou son of David Oh, you are doing the same today. Oh, glory to your name. Reach out to your Father for mercy wherever you are. You know why you came. You know why you are sad. Hey. 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 Glory to your name. Oh, you are doing the same today. Ah, The same Jesus who said the gift is free. Oh, you are doing the same today. Oh, glory to your name. Ah. Ah. Who said the gift is free? Oh, you are doing, 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 doing. Oh, glory to your name. Raise your voice to him. Oh, glory to your name. Ah. Oh, glory to your name. You are doing it. You are doing it, Lord. Oh, glory to your name. Look at his face tonight, tell him. Oh, glory to your name. Oh, glory to chapter 3 verse 20 says he can do exceedingly raise your hands to your father and say to him oh lord do exceedingly do abundantly do above all that I will ask so tonight do exceedingly do abundantly do above all that I've been asking you child of God pray 
are in the tongues of the spirit for your father is in the house and you are in the line of faith and mercy telling Do it. 
Yenji mara kibu dike Dike na ya Oh glory to you Yenji mara kibu dike Yo Oh, glory to your name. Oh, glory to your name. Jesus, you are doing the same today. I oh, glory to your name. Oh, glory to your name. Oh, glory to your name. You are doing the same today. Oh, glory to your name. We bless you forever, Lord. Oh, we give you praise. yourself shave away your doubts and speak to yourself the spirit of abundance is living in me the spirit of abundance is in my family the spirit of abundance is in Christ's world the spirit of abundance is in my business the spirit the spirit of abundance is living in me. <laughs> oh, Rabba Hasayada. 
in Jesus precious name we have declared Amen Alright you might choose to you might want to sit down you might want to sit down hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord eh, okay if the spirit of abundance is living in you can you shout hallelujah abundantly <laughs> oh thank you lord jesus monday morning Monday morning when we finished the early risers prayers and I went back to my altar to wait on the Lord that's what I do actually that hour of the day and thank God for my blessed wife that never quarrels that we need to prepare children for school and send them to school. I um, repent some days. I repent and join her to do that. But most of the days, I am pushed back to the altar after the early morning prayers. And um, that Monday morning, the Spirit called me up and said, do you know that Jesus Christ he said repeatedly three times the spirit of abundance the spirit of abundance the spirit of abundance I stood up what is the spirit of abundance he said do you know Jesus Christ is the spirit of abundance. So let me bring that question to you today. <laughs> Do you know that Jesus Christ is the spirit of abundance? Do you know? It's better to be sincere. Do you know that? The, because I'll ask you to explain what you mean if you already know. Do you know that Jesus is the spirit of abundance? Hallelujah. Praise God. And I have been a student of the journey of abundance for quite a while now. So Tuesday, he sent us to gather all our diaries that we have been using since 2006. We brought all of them and kept them and sat down and we were reviewing that. And that helped me to understand how long we have journeyed in the school of abundance. Glory to Jesus. My desire and what we want to accomplish this night is that as you live here this night if you don't have the spirit of abundance you will receive the spirit of abundance if you already have the spirit of abundance and you are not aware the awareness of the presence of the spirit of abundance will be activated and that from this night, this hour, this moment, you go home with the awareness of the presence of the spirit of abundance and activate a deeper 
relationship with the spirit of abundance so that your life will begin to manifest abundance in the dimensions that the spirit wants to release abundance through you. Jesus gave a definition of purpose of his coming to this world. In John chapter 10 verse 10 he said the thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And when you are laboring and someone is stealing it, will you have abundance? If you are making money and someone is stealing your money, will you have abundance? If you are doing everything to be healthy and sickness is stealing your health, will you have abundance of health? If you are in a relationship and quarrel always steals your joy and love, will you have abundance of peace in your home? So anytime the activity of the thief is in oppression, it reduces abundance. It creates scarcity. And so Jesus says, the thief comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. He starts with stealing. Sometimes he will steal you away from God. And then you know he is about to kill. He starts with stealing. Sometimes he steals the joy of your marriage. And every day you are struggling to find joy in your marriage. You just fight to find joy. But he's busy drinking your joy and eating your love. You notice that your marriage has been under the attack of eaters of love and drinkers of joy. And as long as they are feeding and feasting on the love and the joy of your marriage, you have scarcity of peace. You don't have fullness of it. Some people even quarrel over the phone. Hello, hi. They start quarreling. Sometimes 15 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, they are just fighting themselves. Why do you need to call if you are calling to quarrel? is what the thief cause in the lives of people. So when he steals, the next target is to kill. And hear me, death is better than destruction. It's better to die than to be destroyed. That's a discussion for another day. Destruction is the height of the activity of the thief. Jesus now says, I have one single counter ministry to the tripartite ministry of the thief. One single ministry. One single thing I came to give. And if it is received, neutralizes the tripartite ministry of the thief. I came to give you life and not the noble kind of life but to give you life in abundance. Hallelujah. The primary reason Jesus came is abundance not the life that the devil will be tormenting in the night not the life that witches and wizards can be toiling with not the life that sickness and sorrow will be messing around with not the life that lacks joy and happiness not the life of lack and pain But life of abundance. I came. Primary.
primarily so that you can have abundance. That's why I came. I didn't come for you to have a half-hearted, half-hazard kind of life. I came that you will have life in abundance. I am the spirit of abundance. Where Jesus appears, his primary purpose is to create abundance. One day he came to the river and saw two boats that have faced scarcity and lack. They have toiled all night and they didn't catch nothing. He stepped into one of the boats and he says to the man that owns the boat, push forward a little bit. Sir, what are you talking about? Are you that insensitive? Can't you see how, I mean, this is modern. You're just coming down to the sea and we're about to go. The common sense will tell you that we've been here the whole night. I'm tired. And to make matters worse, we didn't make nothing here paraphrasing now we didn't make nothing here so I don't have the joy to even serve in the ministry today we know you are a preacher I don't have the joy there is no happiness in my family nothing is here to even have time for ministry so oh God, please look for someone else to help you I can do that when my heart is happy I can't I mean what is it what am I happy about Right, Peter didn't look at all of that. He trusted forward and served Jesus. What Peter did not know was that the man that entered his boat was the spirit of abundance. <laughs> Lift up your hand, say, The spirit of abundance has entered my boat. I have committed prosperity. You don't seem to understand that. When Jesus knocked at the door of your heart and you opened to him, you have committed prosperity. When Jesus knocked at the door of your house, your family, and you opened unto him, you have committed, you are sentenced to abundance. That's the agreement. I am the spirit of abundance. I came that you will have life and have it in abundance. So if you allow me to come, it is too late for you to live in scarcity. If you allow me to come, you have committed abundance because I came that you will have. So if you allow me to come into your life, you have allowed abundance to come into your life. Stand to your feet and lift your hands to heaven. Say, I chose you, Jesus. I chose you, Jesus. I know your mission. I understand that you are the spirit of abundance. And I willingly accepted you. I willingly accepted abundance. I willingly accepted your ministry. I willingly accepted your assignment. Oh, spirit of abundance, possess me. I need you to understand this prayer. Because what we are activating tonight we shake nations we shake generations we shake continents I stood up and my wife called me name some very good nicknames he said, hi. The 
way you have talked about abundance in your life. The day God will hit you with this abundance, the day God will shake this abundance, I know you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> If my son was there, you maybe he might say you are being sarcastic. I'm not sure what she was being anyway. <laughs> but he said, You see, I know you. This abundance, do you know how long you have journeyed in abundance? I have an audio message. I was on 40 days and night fasting and prayer. And the Lord sent me down to the beach area around 11 p.m. And I stood there praying. And uh, as I traveled down through the beach, it was the low tide period when I was walking. So I crossed the Salt River Bridge and I was heading towards Cape Town. And then at a point, I was singing at the top of my voice. And some people who were security at the harbor were asking, Hey, hey, who is that? So I knew I've come to a wrong place now. So I turned and started going back to, towards Milnatin Beach to come up. Only to realize that the sea has come back to the shore. And so I am caught in between the waters around 1 a.m. in the morning. I didn't know how that happened. Was is it is this a dream? How did I get here in the first place? And the people that called, hey, who is talking? Brother, are you safe? What happened? I stopped talking at that point because I don't even know what to answer them. But then I said, Lord, I know you knew when I crossed here. And I know you knew. That I'm going to come back here. So let's take this walk now. I carried my shoe. Lifted my phone just like this. And continued the walk through the water. I don't know where the water was. But I walked through the water. Until I came. Over towards. Milnatin Beach. Where I found some. Uh, dryness. And got up. And a song came. sing that song maybe on Sunday but the song as I stood I had a wind blowing Kai something heavy is coming upon Africa and the spirit of the Lord said this is the wind of abundance this is the wind of abundance this is the wind of abundance prepare for it and as I took journey, praying from that Milnatin Beach, praying down towards Blueberg area, and now I've come up to the main road as I was now walking through the main road and I was praying. The whole night, the Lord was bringing words. The Lord was bringing songs of abundance. I have phones after phones since that time. The only one voice that has never disappeared from my record was what I recorded that night. The wind of abundance. And I have understood that the abundance the Lord has spoken to us about for several years, we have finally come to the season of the manifestation of this abundance. If you are part of this journey at this point, I want you to faithfully raise your voice and shout hallelujah abundantly. Zimana tasali brade hosayada. Eli barakushita bandia li barakosoti bada bada diada barado. Esuli makata 
Keso ni bradi halade borosa tikaya. Iremama nunu sabali. Rika duba subale. Iforuza mito. Ikelini ya maleto. Esuni baliko. Iremile du. Iremile du. Iremile du. Spirit of abundance. The hour has come. Spirit of abundance. your hands to heaven. Say, oh, spirit of abundance, release abundance in my boats. Release abundance in my boats. I believe in your power. I believe in your glory. I believe in your presence. I believe in your power. I believe in your glory. I believe in your presence. Release abundance on my boat. Release abundance on my boat. Release abundance on my boat. Lift up your voice in prayer. Rebusa, 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 Abasaya, Erosun Isabeto, Ekaluna Me, Elabata. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You know. There is one thing to have the spirit of abundance. There is another thing to be possessed. Of the spirit. Of abundance. So when you have the spirit of abundance, you possess the spirit of abundance. But when the spirit of abundance has you, you are possessed of the spirit of abundance. The dimension of what God is going to release, what God is releasing, it is not for people who have the spirit of abundance. It is for people who are possessed with the spirit of abundance. I like you to lift up your voice and pray. Oh, spirit of abundance, possess me today. Possess my mind. Possess my thinking. Possess my tongue. Possess my mentality. Possess my eyes. Possess my views. Possess me. Possess me. Oh, spirit of abundance. Possess me. Oh, spirit of abundance. Possess me. Control my thinking. Control my words. Control my meditation. Control my actions. Spirit of abundance. 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 Spirit of ab
abundance, spirit of abundance, fill my life, possess me, take hold of me, take charge of me, rule my thinking, rule my world, rule my direction, rule my meditation, rule my view, rule my ideas, spirit of abundance, possess me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will receive a fresh baptism of the spirit of abundance tonight. As you walk away from here today, you become an agent of abundance. You become an agent of abundance. You become an agent of abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just be seated for a while. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Larabita Sonia. What is this spirit of abundance? It's a dimension of the manifestation of the life of Christ. Through knowledge. When you know, when you become aware of that dimension you begin to see the manifestation as direct by, directed by the spirit it's a dimension of the presence of Christ the spirit of abundance is the spirit that sees and acts and manifests abundance in everything it sees he sees abundance in everything he acts abundance in everything he manifests abundance in everything when the spirit of abundance appears in your life you stop thinking normally your thoughts begin to be abnormal and your thoughts will influence your words and your words will influence your action and your action will influence your manifestation hallelujah can you imagine a man walking into the boat of people who have toiled the whole night and after they finish serving him, he said, Now cast your net for a great cash. Peter said, Sir, we know this business. So you are a carpenter's son, you are not a fisherman. We are fishermen. My father was a fisherman. Me, I grew up fishing, and this is my business. But if you say so, we should do so. The spirit of abundance does not see scarcity even in the midst of scarcity. No. The spirit of abundance does not, does not consider scarcity. He does not recognize lack even in the pool of lack. He sees wealth in the pool of abject poverty. They cast your net. Peter was not seeing the possibility of fish. Jesus was not seeing possibility. He was seeing fishes. He said, cast your net for a great catch. From today, you will stop seeing like ordinary men. You will see abundance. We are men see scarcity. By the spirit of abundance upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say, the spirit of abundance is upon me. I am the manifestation of abundance. In the journey of life, 
you may have the spirit of abundance or you have the spirit of scarcity as a matter of fact most rich people don't have the spirit of abundance that's why the richer they get the more they are ready to kill to get richer because they never arrive at the state of abundance from the soul even in the midst of prosperity they are still in lack so they can do anything to control the world so they can still feel abundance but the more they control the world the more they feel lack abundance is a spirit and when it possesses you you control the realm of abundance and you have no negotiation with lack today your mentality is arrested by the spirit of abundance and wherever you enter you will produce abundance in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Bible says godliness with contentment is a great gain it takes the spirit of abundance to be godly and be content godliness with contentment is a great gain it's a gain that people don't even attain with money you gain contentment and godliness by the presence of the spirit of abundance. If you don't have the manifestation of the spirit of abundance, you may have every other gain, but you may not gain satisfaction. You may not gain contentment. Place your right hand on your head. Say, Lord, Baptize me with the spirit of abundance. Sunya Mata. Spirit of abundance sees abundance in everything. Spirit of abundance looks at his wife and sees the most beautiful woman in the world in this woman. When you don't have the spirit of abundance, you will have the most beautiful woman and you compare her with every woman that passes around you. Because you are never content. You are never content. The spirit of abundance sits down and says, This is my pastor Bonnie. is the best pastor in the world. He finds satisfaction. He finds joy. The spirit of lack will sit with pastor Bonnie. He doesn't see anything pastoral around him. He sees TD Jacks. Relocate him to TD Jacks. He will transfer from TD Jacks to TB Joshua. All of them are TT. So they don't know which tree to follow. It's the spirit of lack and scarcity that is troubling the world. Hallelujah. The spirit of abundance creates abundance from the deepest depth of the soul. He says it is the Lord who gives us all things richly to enjoy when you don't have the spirit of abundance no matter what you have there is no enjoyment in your life you walk into your house you say this idiot woman look at the other day I was passing uh, Michael's wife see how smart she dressed and see how obediently but with your hand and with your leg you are demonstrating obediently Michael has not told you what he's going through it's just your judgment go and touch Michael and hear what Michael will say eh? even the Indian brothers ask Gogo Gogo please how do we control a wife they said, we are still searching. Please, if you find the answer, let us know. Huh? Control a wife. Do 
only way to control your wife is to submit under the spirit of abundance and enjoy the abundance of glory that your wife has. Enjoy the abundance of glory that your husband has. Enjoy the abundance of glory that is around you and you will produce more glory, more abundance from glory to glory. Abundance of peace. Look at how peace have run away from your house. Even when you are not at home, the, the, the children, whether you are the mother or the, or the father, that is the, the one who lacks the spirit of abundance. When you are not at home, your family are enjoying peace. The moment you enter through the front door, peace will run away from the back door. Even peace runs away for you. Why? Peace is of abundance. Jesus says, my peace I give unto you. My peace I give unto you. Oh, glory to God. From tonight, you will enjoy abundance of peace. You will enjoy abundance of peace. You will enjoy abundance of peace. Lift up your voice, say, Oh Lord, baptize me with the spirit of abundance. of goodness. I looked this evening and I saw let me carry your son and, and, and show what I'm saying. It's the spirit of abundance is on me. It's, it's, it's respecting me this night. Hallelujah. Allah want abundance. Amen. I saw your father in law And he was saying, he was saying, I will want to go back to Nadira with this boy. These people, please let me go home. Let me return with him. Let me return with him. Let me return with him. And it was a joke. Everybody was laughing. Say, Papa, please. He said, No, no. I'm going to go back with this one. I will carry this one. Go back. want to cry, cry abundantly. Hallelujah. 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 We dedicate your son. We dedicate your son. And your father-in-law will carry your son. Your father-in-law will carry your son. Your father-in-law will carry your son. 
Your father in law will carry your son. Esopa! 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 Kurutasiyama! In the name of Jesus, the spirit of abundance. In the name of Jesus. See the New Testament description of abundance. As we look at it, we release it into your life. But please, you find it difficult to receive abundance because it will be difficult for you to understand. Except the spirit of abundance possesses you. Lord, let the spirit of abundance possess me. Pray that prayer one more time. Let the spirit of abundance possess me. That nothing looks impossible. That nothing looks dry. That nothing looks scarce in my eyes anymore. In my life anymore. Let the spirit of abundance possess me. Let the spirit of abundance possess me. Let the spirit of abundance possess me. Yabasoto, a catapasso pratier, a romiana bradosa, a corodo pianato, a lamando siato, a bracande messoya, a rabeso kenya, a cutupala, a cutupala, a rutu sabeta. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's, let's look at how the scripture described abundance. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. You know, maybe if we call it abundance, it sounds big, and then anything looks like it. But hear the word of the Lord. 
Likuradiyama. That is what the scripture meant when they say, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those. your eyes have seen is below the meaning of abundance. Whatever you have heard about other people's prosperity and success, as long as eyes have seen it, God's purpose of abundance for you is beyond that. Any news of prosperity you've heard about the, the gates and all the richest people you know in the world. If ears have had them, if eyes have had them, then it is not yet the limit of abundance. There is yet a measure that is beyond what the richest South African has seen in South Africa. This is why I needed the spirit of abundance to possess you. When God is talking of abundance, who is he talking to? Who did he come to give abundance? Who did he come to give abundance? Now when I'm talking about abundance, I see some of you, your mind, is reducing it like a eh, pastor shift it to those people. And what I want, I don't, I'm not greedy. I want it just to be eaten properly. Now I'm not eating. Let's start from food. That is not the spirit of abundance. I can look in here I see some of you that when I am talking about abundance is beyond what Warren Buffett has already. Some are thinking, well, that's too big. Let's not go there. Uh, uh, Mosta, what's the name of that guy? Patrick. Is it Patrick or Patrice? Patrick Most more. Most what? Motepe. Motepe. Is it Patrick or Patrice? Patrice. Patrick. Patrick. You see, some know him as Patrice. Some know him as Patrick. You, how many people know you? We are here learning the name of one man that we don't even know his offering. They will learn your name this year. They will learn your name this year. When abundance locates you, it, you know, Matthew Ashimolowo was in London. He said, When I came newly, I would tell somebody, My name is Matthew Ashimolowo. They said, Ash, Ashimomo, Momo, no, 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 no. Oh, it's too long. Leave it. He said, When God began to bless me, some people went to learn how to pronounce my name. Men will learn to pronounce your name by the reason of the manifestation of the spirit of abundance. Can you imagine the entire church sat down trying to spell Mustape or Mustape or Patrick or Patrice? They will go to school to learn your name. Abundance will redefine your story. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm preaching today I have made journeys in the realm of the spirit concerning it and it pleases the Lord that today 
we are calling forth the manifestation of abundance whether you believe it or not you will sleep and wake up in the midst of abundance because the hour has come the time has come you will manifest abundance in the name of Jesus salary 
He looked at them and said, these people are hungry. Give them food to eat. That is the spirit of abundance. He sees abundance of food in the midst of scarcity. In the wilderness of dryness. He never settles down to complain that Peter said to him and Philip, Sir, even if you are paying us salary good well enough, six years salary will not be able to buy, one year salary of all of us joined together will not be able to buy food for all this multitude here. Now, even if it will be able to buy for fear of them. There is no market where we can buy food. So when you are talking about food, what do you mean? Do you know what Jesus asked them? What do you have? The spirit of abundance does not look at what you don't have. The spirit of abundance looks at what you have. And he knows what he can make out of what you have. If you can trust him. The spirit of abundance does not say, I don't have a womb. The spirit of abundance says, I have a husband after all. Did you hear that? The spirit of abundance, for instance, does not say, I don't have a child. No, he doesn't see that. Even when he doesn't have a child and doesn't have a womb, for instance, assuming that he doesn't have a child, he doesn't have a womb, he doesn't look at what he doesn't have. He sees, I have a husband. A young man, my friend, a friend to my friend came to our ministry and said I impregnated this girl she I, I asked her to have abortion and in the process her womb was removed I cannot leave her now to marry another woman because I put her in this pain let's bear the pain together maybe we will do adoption sometime and, she, and they began to attend our ministry and we began to pray for them. Sometimes the woman, beca the woman became very sick. Everybody was wondering what's this kind of sickness? And then the doctor one day asked them, have you tested yourself? Is it test for HIV or what? Say, no, you're married. Say, how? Oh, oh, you are talking that side. Oh, for your that side is not uh, part of us. We don't think that's not the language of the spirit of abundance. After about four months that this uh, strange body behavior, they decided to, the doctor now on his own tested the woman and realized she was pregnant. It's actually, what are you talking about? She said, she's pregnant. Which with which pregnancy pot? She's pregnant. And the strangest part of it was that she had twins without womb. And carried them and delivered them peacefully without oppression. How did that happen? The spirit of abundance does not care what you don't have. It asks you, what do you have? They said, it's only two fishes and five loaves of bread. They said, bring it to me. The spirit of abundance is going to use what you have to surprise your generation. The spirit of abundance is about to use what you have to surprise your generation. It's about to use what you have to create what your generation do not have. In the name of Jesus! I'm going to pray for you. And the only prayer that we will be 
able to pray tonight is a fresh baptism of the spirit of abundance. You will meet so much open doors. You will meet so much prosperity. And the spirit of abundance will help you to see them, harness them, and harvest them. From today, what you have not been seeing, the abundance you have not been seeing around your life, your eyes will be open to see them in the name of Jesus. Two persons, one came and said, man of God, my husband was a righteous man. He served you. You were a very wicked man. Second King chapter 4. My husband served you. They claim that you are anointed. You pray for people. They prosper. This man that served you faithfully died in poverty. That was a woman coming from the family that had the spirit of abundance. But they were not aware that they had the spirit of abundance. The husband was borrowing from outside because he was not seeing what was inside. From today, I pray for you. The spirit of abundance will open your eyes to see what you have. And he will show you how to manufacture and produce abundance to what you have abundantly to the glory of the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. of the spirit of abundance from tonight you will come back to Sunday with a surprising testimony stand to your feet we will go deeper on this as we return I have journeyed in this now is the time now is the time of manifestation now is the time of manifestation the word abundant I will, I, will, I will give definition of it when you come on Sunday we will give definition of that word because time is not on our side anymore but this is what thing I need to happen in your life as you live here today. You will receive a baptism in your mind. The spirit of abundance will need to take over your mind. That as you live from here this night, you will think abundance. You will see abundance. You will speak abundance. You will confess abundance. You will change your name to abundance. The name of your wife, the name of your husband, the name of your children will be changed to connect to abundance. That is the, if that happens tonight, we have received answers in the night of answers. Testimony will follow. Testimony will follow. For years, Abraham was complaining, I have no child. God said to him, get out of your tent. 
and start counting stars. What was God doing? Change your thinking. See abundance. Stop seeing lack. He took him to the sea. He said, count the sand of the seashore. What was God doing? Change your thinking. Change your mentality. Change your mindset. This is going to be like foolishness in your eyes and in the eyes of people around you. But it's a new baptism. Change your wife's name if your wife's name means no matter. No matter. What is no matter? Is your wife's name no matter? Amen. Because I know it's Zimbabwe people that answer no matter. So don't give your wife no matter. No matter what. One was called forget. Why do, will somebody call a, a daughter forget? Thank God for Minister Kazi. She changed the name of that girl. Say your name is Remember from today. And she became Remember. What we were calling her then is, was Remember. Huh? How can we forget you? That was what God, the spirit of abundance did to Abraham. He said, now change your name. From today, my name is Abraham. My wife's name is Sarah, not Sarai. The I is a limitation. What do you need to change by a new mind today? I don't have anything moves to I have a bottle of oil that will take care of my generations yet on board. If you used to hold your wife and you say, mm, woman, so you say, this, this, this woman, pastor, leave that woman. I say, Sam, who are you calling woman? Don't mind that woman. You must change the new name. Give your wife the name that is full of abundance of love. Abundance of God's love and mercy and goodness. The first son that Abraham was going to have, what did the angel tell him to call her? Call him laughter. From today, your house will be full of laughter. Abundance of laughter. Your mind has to change. Lift up your voice, say, Oh Lord, change my mind. Baptize my mind with the spirit of abundance. Baptize my mind with the spirit of abundance. Baptize my mind with the spirit of abundance. Let me see abundance. Let me think abundance. Let me see abundance. Let me think abundance. Let me visualize abundance. Let me speak abundance. Let me confess abundance. Let me change my name and answer abundance. My children's name are abundance. Abundance. My spouse name is abundant. My family's name is abundant. Hey! I change my language. I change my language by the spirit of abundance. My language is 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 abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, put your two hands on your head and just be quiet for a while. Let's just have the key. Let's just have the key. Put your hands on your head. The wind is the spirit. The wind is the spirit. When he told me that the wind of abundance will blow, I didn't understand it very well. But now I understand it's the move of the spirit of abundance. Before this month of May is over, you will see manifestations of abundance in your life. In the name of Jesus, I stand in the spirit of Abraham and I call forth upon 
abundance in Christ's world ministry. I call forth abundance in your family. I call forth abundance in your marriage. I call forth abundance in your financial life. I call forth abundance. I call forth abundance. I call forth abundance. Receive manifestation of abundance right now in the name of Jesus. Lift those hands up to heaven. It's the night of answer. And he has answered us with the spirit of abundance. Just, just, just take a minute, take a minute, pray in the tongues of the Holy Ghost. Swim in the spirit of abundance. Swim in the spirit of abundance. Yento simbrani kani mani adamani atopo sendu iya malende na manana masuka la balaba soliba yelele shalaba zumani azagalada ishu prada galida bo zaya de zaya ga ima mama suka la balaba lima ya galaba sombra dege izamane sobodia. Iyalaba kora bali gade, iyalaba kora bali gade. Mashate te mama sokaye, isuprani kali kadebo, isuprani kali kadebo. Usubali gede gede mana mana gede gede mana bo, usubali gede 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 mana 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 gede bo. Iyalaba de zagana. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The reason I have to release you now is because we are living in time. And we've got to be conscious of time. As you go home, one of the secret forces that releases the manifestation of abundance is prayer. 